This is probably what you think of when you think of the great ice sheet of Greenland, endless vistas of pristine, glorious white. But actually, in many places, it already looks like this, not white or light blue, but dark, greyish, even black looking. This is the FMV at Klima News Weekly with me, Chris Cummins, and today we're going on a trip to the northern tip of our planet. FM4. This footage was taken by a climatologist called Jason Box. He spent the past 30 years exploring Greenland, taking measurements. He's been part of a project called the Dark Snow Project. And through his YouTube channel, he's been trying to raise awareness of the warning signs of the changes happening right now in Greenland. The dark surface you can see is bare ice that has accumulated algae microbiological activity. It's a biome for life. And under conditions of prolonged sunlight, the algae can bloom. I'd seen pictures of this uh, dark snow before, and I'd always thought they were a result of the terrifying wildfires we've uh, heard of and seen recently in northern Canada and in Siberia. I thought maybe it was soot that had been dropped off by those dark clouds passing over the northern tip of the planet. But Jason Box says that's not actually the main problem here. It's a misconception that the darkness is from something like wildfire soot. The wildfire soot is there on the surface, but it's not the dominant factor in darkening the bare ice. Even though there is some black carbon from wildfire, it's impossible to see that with your eyes. No, the ice is getting darker because the world is warming and rainfall is falling in areas where it did not used to fall in the past. The upshot of this is that we're getting large areas of ice covered in dark algae rather than in white snow. And you don't need to be a climate scientist to understand why this is a problem for the entire planet. Everyone knows that wearing a white t-shirt on a hot sunny day makes you feel cooler. Whereas if you wear a black t-shirt on a hot day, you start to feel very hot, a bit uncomfortable. Black surfaces absorb the sun's energy. The Arctic has always been our cooling white t-shirt. It's kept us nice and cool, but now we're seeing more and more dark areas. In other words, we've stained our t-shirt, we've stained our cooling system, and this is bad news for all of us, wherever we might live. The darker bare ice area leads to a multiplying effect. This is an example of a climate feedback. The more melting there is, the longer there is a dark surface exposed to the long summer sunlight. Greenland was in the world news this summer. It made the international headlines, finally. There was such a big melting phenomenon that the amount of water that ran off could have filled the whole of Florida, for example, in about five centimetres of water. That's how much it melted. And also rain fell at the most high point on the Greenland ice sheet, an area that's over 3,000 metres of altitude and really far up in the north. That got people really alarmed. Melting has a kind of a permanent darkening effect on bright snow cover. And so after the heat wave, this darkened snow cover could then absorb more sunlight, leading to quite a lot more melting than there would have been without this darkening effect. To give you some example of how much water is stored on the Greenland ice sheet, if it was all to melt, according to NASA, the sea level rise worldwide would be around seven metres. And it would be such a catastrophic event that even the rotation of the Earth would be changed. For Jason Box, Greenland has been his life, and he's spent these past years trying to warn the world about what's going on and the consequences of this melting, and yet he's largely been ignored, as we know. He also watched, like many of us, the recent Hollywood film Don't Look Up, which kind of parodied the world's response to scientists saying, act now or we're all doomed. But he says he's beyond being angry at the apathy we all show when they put out these warnings. It's made him 
more motivated to get his message out to more people. My attitude now isn't so much anger, it's an enhanced drive to put out the science into mass communication channels like this channel that I'm recording for right now. Do look up, do look up, look up to Greenland and see what's going on in this important and beautiful part of our planet. He says we need to understand what's going on and then decide as a community, as a world community, what we need to do to slow down this trend as the dripping continues in Greenland. The Arctic is like the refrigeration system for the global climate system. And when the Arctic loses its reflective ice cover, the Arctic warms up faster. This destabilizes weather patterns affecting the world. Well, uh, let's hope that some people do take notice of what Jason is saying and we start getting some energy into fighting climate change. Thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you for your feedback on our last video about lithium. A lot of people had interesting things to say. You are part of the discussion. It's meant to be a discussion. Thank you very much for your input and for watching this video. Tell us what you think, what you'd like to hear about in the future. My name's Chris Cummins. This was FM Fear Klima News Weekly.